Let's get back to another round of Bruise Day Tuesday with Drez and Big Nate. No cap shooting this round on Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Man, Cellar actually. Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. Don't do that. Actually, uh, we'll empty it first. No, that's funny you brought that up. I, I want to come back to that, actually. But before that, let's go ahead and go around the horn about what you just popped. I'm sticking with the juicy IPA uh, uh, trend, I guess. Uh, I had one last time. This one is the Wicked Hazy New England IPA from Sam Adams, which I was surprised I hadn't had before. Sam Adams, America's largest craft brewery. Yes, they are a craft brewery by definition. 6.8% ABV. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this one. I don't think they can ever lose that stance because they were just so crucial to the start of the craft beer movement. So I, I, I think they could like start making much bigger tonnage, and I think they would change the definition of a craft brewery to meet Sam Adams. I've got the uh, Jack's Abbey craft loggers. It doesn't say where they're at. I'm guessing they're in America because they spelled Abbey A B B Y. Oh, Massachusetts. There you go. And uh, it's their Ray Catcher. It's a lemongrass logger. Now I don't know what lemongrass is. I know it. Uh, if you plant it, it keeps mosquitoes away. And that's about all I know about lemongrass. It's funny you mentioned. It. I didn't even. I didn't even put two and two together. But I just went. Uh, cat litter shopping. We want to. We're we're trying to change kitty litters. Oh, that's always the, a fun adventure. Yeah, the kind that we have is just. I don't know. They must have changed the makeup. We bu we bought the same kind, but this last batch, it's like it's very dusty, and so uh, where we keep the kitty litter, the cat, like everything has just this litter dust now. So I'm like, this is no good. We need to change cat litters. And the one of the ones I was looking at was like a lemongrass based one. And I was like, I don't know much about lemongrass. I don't know if it works yeah. good for kitty litter, but thought about trying that. I've I've definitely been there with the uh, with, the, with the kitty litter mm -hmm. situation, and I've I think I found the one that that I like the most because this is this is the hard hitting stuff on Bruce Day Tuesday, yeah. baby. Well, Talking kitty litter. Well, behind the scenes, I mean, I have two cats. You have three, yeah. right? So yeah, we both have kitty litter, uh, you know, uh, expertise. So what do you guys use? Because honestly, I'm leaving here today i'm supposed to go and see what they got at wally world i think like i'm looking for like the crystal kind maybe to well, try we that we use the purina tidy cat yeah and uh it's not like a, a lot of times what we used to use was the clay litter and that's the one that like really just had the gnarly dust i don't know exactly what the tidy cat is made of but a it covers up the smell of the cat litter pretty damn well but b it's so much easier to scoop and clean okay all right. Well, if I don't find, I'm I'm supposed to look for the crystal because they have that kind, I guess. But I feel like that's so drastically different. The cats might just be like, "What the hell is this? Yeah. I'm I'm crapping on the floor. I'm not messing with this stuff." So the trick you have to mix in the old litter. Ah, uh, I don't want and, and like wean them off of the old litter. Uh, okay, we might we might you, try that. Then. Have you ever tried changing cat food on them? That's oh, a nightmare. Well, we've been through four different cat foods already. Oh, okay. I've never had success with that. Like, yeah. They've well, been eating the same we've thing. we've had mixed results, but the one that we have now seems to work. Like we'll give him canned food, no interest in it. So you really want this dry, like Purina stuff? Okay. Funnily enough, the thing that we've had the least bit of success is the treats. Our none of our our two cats hate all cat treats. Every time we get a bag, they don't even they like. We'll put them down. We'll throw them, you know, down the ground for them. They'll sniff it and they'll just be like, "What is this crap?" and walk away. We always end up giving them to like my mom for her cats. We just, they never, they don't like any treats. People would always gift us treats for the cats. And, and yeah, I mean, same thing. They're not really interested in it. We threw away when we moved, we threw away so many bags of expired cat treats. Cause like, I don't know what the hell to do with these. I don't know anyone else who has cats at the time. And yeah, I mean, short of just throwing them outside and assuming a yeah. stray will come around. <laughs> you eating. know, that could happen in Radford. <laughs> yeah. Without doubt. All right. We, uh, yeah, somehow we got DBA way off that base. damn lemongrass. Um, so these beers actually came, uh, were bestowed upon me from uh, the guy, Scott, I was staying with, my buddy from from Rad, the old Radford days. Uh, so he's a big craft beer guy like myself. Uh, also on Untapped, which I know we didn't even do the full Untapped spiel. Dreads Drinks is my handle. 
Big, a big Nate danger. Big Nate danger across from me. Scott and Miss Rex. If you want to look up Scott, that's a good one. I like that. Scott on uh untapped, and he was telling me that he is actually on a quest. He has been doing uh he wants to go an entire month with each day drinking a new beer to see if he gets a badge for that. And he told me that he was he was like pretty much a month in and then missed like one day oh, no. recently. <laughs> But well, he also start over. But I think he also messed up because he started on like the nineteenth or the twentieth, and then went first. I was like, yeah, I think you got to do it for a full calendar, like a the month of October. I bet if you do that, if you check in a new beer every day for a whole month on Untapped, I guarantee you're gonna. That's get one badges. of those. They like, have badges that they hand out. Well, I, I wonder if everything. that's one of those like. Uh, uh... Some kid on the playground told me you could do this in this video game, and there's no secret. It doesn't exist. Yeah, they're messing with you. Well, it's funny. And I told him, I was like, it'd probably be easy to look that up. He's like, no, nah, I don't want to look it up. I just want to try it and see. If it... I was like, all right, buddy, that's quite the commitment. But that's also not the worst. That's not the worst thing to try and do. I mean, they there's so many badges. Like you said, it's just it's absurd. Every time you check in a beer, you're getting a badge. I, I, just it, about. Truly, truly. And, and then like one day it's like I'll try some random like. IPA from like some podunk town in Iowa, and it's like six badges it's like what the hell did i unlock with this beer yeah it's pretty funny um but yeah so it was pretty cool we got to go and stay with them they just redid their basement which is where we stay which was fantastic it was really nice and then yeah we went on a 10 mile run around the monticello lake uh on sunday after the tech game so i think i've mentioned it on this show before that me and bb our New Year's resolution, one of the things was if we eat pizza, we have to run at least 10 miles the next day. Should have put two and two so, together with the Mellow Mushroom. We were at Mellow Mushroom. We had the uh, Funky Q whatever pizza or something, the barbecue chicken, which we've come to learn. The barbecue chicken is always just the best pizza. It's always so damn good. So I think that's just what we're going to order every delicious. time from now on. So Add a little bacon into the mix. Oh. oh, yeah, there was bacon on there. You're damn right. The first bite I... Bi- took i was like oh yeah that's that's the bacon right there i i think you're spot on i've still yeah. never been to a mellow mushroom yeah i mean it, they're not bad i mean it's a chain so it's like whatever but they do have generally a pretty decent craft beer selection and nice little uh pizza concoctions and watching the tech game it was nice because they have pretzel bites that came with beer cheese and then they also have just a straight up pretzel option. So I even ordered those. So you love your pretzels. I, I got to get my soft pretzels when I'm watching football. So it really, it did work out well. Like I said, I was there for, I mean, it, it was easily at least six hours. I basically, I, I did a whole shift at Mellow Mushroom <laughs> and um, spent quite a bit of money by the end of it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was. They should be paying you. They, so much free really advertising should. right they, now. They really should. But uh, the Mellow Mushroom in Blacksburg is not too bad. I don't know if they do the rainy day. I need a, I haven't been there in out. a while. I need to look it up and ask because that is a nice little, that's just a brilliant uh, little discount, you know? So I, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, so we did the run. Oh, yeah, the run. And there, it was a rainy run, man. Nice and hilly and re- wet, but it actually wasn't that bad. It was kind of, it was. It was a 10 mile run <laughs> on a Sunday morning. So you can imagine. Mm. But uh, other than that, what else did we do? Oh, we went to a fancy tea place. Uh, some. All right. Asian kind of tea place where we actually sat down, take your shoes off, sit down at a little table and uh, enjoy. I got the hangover tea because this was the day. This is the morning after the the uh, Greta Van Fleet show and the going to Sedona and stuff. Um, so I, I it didn't help too much, but it was pretty. Cool. Say, did it help? Not too much. What helped was going to Mel Mushroom and yeah. drinking a pitcher of, of, the dog. of Wicked Weed. But <laughs> um, and yeah, man, it was just I, honestly I like Charlottesville. I know that there's the rivalry and stuff, but it is a nice little city cool and. Time. And there's there's a lot of cool stuff there, and um, it's a lot of places to go see shows. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's another good point. And uh, for those that don't know, we are uh, Monticello Media, and so uh, our sister cluster uh, cluster, I guess you could say, is based down there in 
in Charlottesville, and I had never actually visited the radio station. I, I will there, point out so. they are also not Cavalier affiliates; they are Hokie affiliates. Yeah, so that's another little it's plus. Important so, to note. So yeah, so I went down there and got to tour around the the their studios and stuff, which was really cool. And um, and shout out to PJ on the hot station down there, and uh, he was uh cool enough to show us around, and then came down to Sedona and drink a bunch of beers. He's he's like uh, my BB, big sour guy. Yes, like pretty much strictly only drinks. Gosas, sours, and whatnot. So, thankfully, Sedona had quite the selection of those. I, I, I'm finding them less and less lately. So, uh, I think it's a bit of a seasonal. Yeah, thing. I think so. I think once the summer leaves, you're going to get less Every, of them. Everyone's making their. Is anyone pumpkin sour? That's something that needs to Ooh, needs to be tried. That must attempted. exist somewhere. It would. Ha- I mean, it would have to be a goza because I feel like sours are too sweet it would have to be a goza you have to have that salt in there mm. it does need to have the salt if it's pumpkin that's what we were talking about we're, we're I, I haven't carved a pumpkin and i don't know how long but i somehow we got talked into maybe doing the pumpkin patch thing and getting pumpkins this year and i was like all right but that also means we got to make the, the, the pumpkin seeds because that was my oh, favorite part yeah. of it i didn't i was sucked at carving it but the best part was for the weeks after carving the pumpkin i get to have the my little bag of pumpkin seeds to bring to school every day just do uh salt on the seeds it was yeah like i i mean i have to ask my mom i guess but yeah i think it was just like seasoned salt of some sort old bay roast it old Uh, bay on pumpkin seeds now we're talking just life-changing i could do that i could definitely do that it's one of the uh one of the things i'm very consistent at is my uh my pumpkin seed roasting i love them yeah. So you guys are going to do the the pumpkin thing. You do the you do the whole carving and all Even that. Even before we had kids, we always did. Ha- Halloween's my favorite holiday. So it's a great holiday. It really is. There's no like guilt. Like, oh man, I got to get so and so a gift. And what if it's not good? What if they hate it? And I can tell they hate it, but they're not going to admit they hate it out of being polite. There's no obligation. No, you it's just, just you have fun. fun. You just dress up, have fun. Fourth of July is also great for the same reason. That's another pretty good one. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned this on the air or not, but I did actually get some pumpkin beers while I was in Charlottesville as well. We might, we'll probably save those for another show or two because there's a lot of pumpkin beers out. I don't know if you've been to a beer store lately, but now is the time you got to go and grab your pumpkin beers because they're prevalent. I've seen them creeping onto the shelves. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I want to say, uh, White Claw has a pumpkin seltzer, and I think that is just the strangest thing in the world. I did not get one of those for the show. Oh, Although God. I did, Mikey did talk me into getting a pumpkin cider. See, that could be good. It could be good. He said it was. Good. I trust. I mean, I we'll trust see. Mikey. So we'll see. We'll we'll give that, that one a shot. That makes sense. Pumpkin apples, like that was the other thing. Like when I was a kid, and you'd always go up to uh, it was Cox Farms, the pumpkin patch up there, and they always had apple cider. So for me, like in my brain, the two are like forever linked. Mm-hmm. So okay, I'm, all right, I'm intrigued. All right, well, we'll give that a go. I don't know next week, maybe the week after, we'll see. But you know, sometime in October, we'll be drinking pumpkin beers. There's no question about that. But right now, we are drinking some beers that uh, Scotty was kind enough to bestow upon us. In fact, now that I think about it, I think I've done a couple of Scotty shows before. He's, he's Canadian, so I, I think he came, went up to Canada one time and brought me back some beers, and me and Huck did a Canadian beer show that, that he gave to me. So, But this one, this and full disclosure, I think the Sam Adams Wicked Hazy, this was just like, he's like, yeah, I got my, you know, because we're staying downstairs, which is kind of their chill spot, you know, as a pull-out couch. He's like, my beer fridge is down there. Go ahead and look in there and see if there's anything you haven't tried and grab, you know, gr- feel free to grab that. And sure enough, I haven't had the Sam Adams Wicked Hazy, nor had I had that lemongrass. I didn't know they had, had a hazy. Neither did I. And that's, I mean, but what? that's the thing. There were probably so many beers in their portfolio that I have no idea they exist because they are always making something new. Yeah. So here's the thing with Sam Adams. They are still craft beer, but they're about as close to not being craft beer as you can get. They're like the biggest, the big boys of craft beer. That being said, that means that they know what they're doing. And when it comes to most of their beers, they're pretty solid. Here's the thing. You might not like them all, but they're all pretty much what they're meant to be. 
there's good quality control at yeah. Sam Adams because they have the resources to make sure that's the case. That it, said, well, also like Ed's very hands on and everything. Yeah. So like you're not like just some absent like CEO and president. He's very hands on, as you would hope for in the craft. And that's that's exactly what you think of. So that being said, wicked wicked hazy, juicy New England IPA taste as advertised. Which I know when Huck was on the show, that was a huge part of a beer. Because yes, when you at when you order a beer, you want it to taste what you're expecting, and this is just a perfect example of that. Six point eight percent. It's a delicious beer. I'm not entirely blown away. That being said, I could drink the heck out of these. So I think very similar to the Tropication. I'm going to give it a, eh, I might, maybe not quite as good as the Tropication. 425. Still a very good quality beer that I would happily, happily drink. So I've got the Jack's Abbey. Oh, I didn't realize. Jack's Abbey Craft Lagers is the full name of the, so like okay. Lagers is their deal. The Ray Catcher. Uh, I still don't know what lemongrass is, but we could have looked that up and did it, uh, research. But I, I, sorry, whatever it is, I like it because uh, I mean, as you as you know, lagers aren't usually my go to necessarily. I think they're traditionally one of the most more widely consumed beers, but they're kind of a lager's a lager, nothing nothing actually special. But I think this one's pretty damn delicious. On first taste, I was a little confused. I was like, "What? What is that? I'm getting." Obviously, it's the lemongrass, and uh, I think it kind of makes this lager pop a bit. Um, Which is exactly why you don't untap a beer off of one taste. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. You My rule of thumb is you have to have at least three, like a taster's worth, at least three, four sips, and then you got a full, probably understanding. Frankly, if I'm getting a full beer, you wait till you're done drinking the beer. Yeah. I I think I'm gonna go ahead because it's a lager. I, I think this may be a five. Wow. Because this is this is one of the better lagers I've ever had. Mm, so I'm, right. I'm going to go ahead and give it a five. It's 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 pretty solid. 4.6% ABV should hold it back, but it doesn't. Yeah, that's that it's not going to get a five for me at that at that rate. But I'll give it I'm happy to give it a taste. And uh and once again, shout out to Scotty for for hooking it up in that department. We will go ahead and take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll play some Muzak because that's what we're known for doing here at 105.3 The Bear. Uh, Big Nate Danger, once again, on the untapped. Drez Drinks is my handle if you want to find us. Scott and Mr. Rex, I'll, I'll give him a heads up that he might get some randos just requesting to be his friend. You could see how he does on his quest of one new beer a I'm, day. I'm really rooting for him. He's in the middle of it right now. He had to restart, and he's doing it. And I told him, like, I think he restarted a couple weeks ago. I'm like, dude, you're going to have to do for a whole calendar month. So I'm assuming and hoping he's going to do it in October. I gave him – I brought him some craft beer in exchange, too, so he's got some. I honestly think he just shouldn't stop until he gets a badge. That then you're gonna get a like, badge. Don't, if you do don't it that quit way. after a month. Just keep going. A whole calendar year, Scotty. Yeah. The Come challenge on. has been set. All right, we will take a quick break and we'll get back with the tunes right here on 105.3 the bear. Stick around. <laughs> 